everyone, welcome back to my channel So Happy. My name's Alex and today I will be showing you items of clothing I've made from my fabric stash. So fabrics I've had for a while that needed using and I thought why not make them and show you and share with you. We'll start with what I'm wearing now. I made um, the Tilly and the Buttons uh, Clio pinafore dress. I made this one but with the little um, button detail from my brand new Sew Over It needle cord. Now this is the softest needle cord ever. It's so, it's so nice. I absolutely love it. I love the polka dot and it's so, so comfortable. And this pattern is such a treat to sew. It's really, really easy. It's great for beginners. So if you are new to sewing, I strongly recommend this. I made uh, between two sizes. The top I am a smaller size than the tilly patterns and the bottom half I'm a bigger size than tilly patterns. Hence why I make my own clothes because I am a funny shape, I'm between sizes. And it's so comfortable and I love the polka dots and the buttons and I like to wear it with um, striped t-shirts and shirts underneath. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. And I like the pocket, it's very nice. I'm very pleased with it. Coffee, coffee. Mm. So here is my next fabric stash make. This is the Sew Over It Betty dress. Um, I have made a few of these. I really enjoy um, this pattern because one thing, it has a full circle skirt, which is it's just fun. You, when you wear a full circle skirt, you just wanna like twirl around in it in public. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's really great. Um, and I made it in this uh, fabric I found on the Gold Hawk Road. It's, I think it's a, um, like a viscose uh, fabric. I'm not entirely sure what it's made of, but I know it's um, synthetic and it's got a really lovely drape to it. It's just such a lovely design. I love things um, lip printed or lipstick design, as you will see in one of my next make. I just think it's really fun, but maybe a bit too much. I'm wearing, um, I don't think you can see lip, lip printed like earrings put together. <laughs> maybe it's a bit much. Um, yeah, so I thought it'd be really nice to wear in the summer or to like a date night or something like that with um, like flats or glittery heels. I have a lot of glittery heels. So yeah, I really enjoyed um, making this dress. It's, it's, su it's such a lovely design. The Betty dress is so classic, so I think everybody needs a Betty in their wardrobe. I also finished the seams with um, bias binding. I can't remember what this trick is called, but I just thought it looked really nice with the teal. So yeah, I did finish this part of the dress before I got an overlocker, which is probably good because before I got an overlocker I took more care on how I finished my seams, but now I've got an overlocker I'm just like mm. so It's just a really nice little detail, especially if you're like swooshing around and people will be like, oh, look at her bias binding. No one's going to say that, but I know it's there, so that's what matters. So here is my next week. It is the Sew Over It 1940s tea dress and I made it in some crepe fabric from Fabrics Galore. It's called Stella and it's so beautiful. I've seen a few people on um, Instagram and stuff who've also bought this fabric and what they've made of it is just really nice. But I really, it's just the, the weight of this fabric is just so luxurious. I really love the design because it kind of looks like a leopard print or poppies. I don't know what, but it's really funky and it's green and I love green and everyone says, oh, you should wear green because you have red hair. Um, but I really like this design and I chose to put a pink um, it's not invisible, it's just a normal zipper, pink zip in, because it looks really cute. I love um, pink and green at the minute. I don't know why, I just do. It's really nice. Yeah. And I also added um, some really lovely uh, buttons. I don't know if you can see some buttons um, to this design that I had, that I bought for a dress, but I didn't end up making in the end. Um, but this fabric was £8 a metre. I might be wrong. I'll double check and I'll... Um, all, all the fabrics here that you can buy online, I will try my best to put in the description box down below for you. So if you do see anything you like, you can go over and buy it for yourself. I'm not wearing my next mate because I just broke the zip. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I literally finished this about a week and a half ago. And I really wanted to wear it to work today because um, I, I have work this afternoon and I can't wear it now. The zip literally just, just popped. I'm so gutted. So I'll have to um, insert another zip. I was actually watching um, Gabba Dashri recently and she was talking about how fed up she is with zips breaking. So I'm with you there, Gabby. It's, it's so infuriating. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm going to show you anyway because I love this dress and I'm going to fix it and I'll probably show you show you another time of me in it. But I got this pattern uh, free with Simply Sewing Magazine. It is called the Daisy Dress and it's a really sweet um, box pleat at the front and then it fits and um, flows out. This is the shape and I look exactly like this in it as well. Um, the instructions weren't that great but I know that they sent out 
um, an extra um, thing that they forgot to put in the instructions but I kind of figured it out for myself. I got this fabric uh, just before Christmas and it's covered in lipsticks. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. I found it, um, I found it in a shop on the Goldhawk Road and it was a really narrow um, fabric so there's only so many, so many things I can make with it but luckily I just squeezed it into this pattern. And I actually had, um, I cut this pattern out um, around December and then I finished it um, this week but I had enough fabric left to make um, my um, boyfriend's mum and uh, my boyfriend's sister um, eye masks, like sleep masks for Christmas out of this fabric because um, Lee's mum, hi if you're watching, <laughs> Joanna, um, she has a lipstick obsession just like I do so I thought she would really like it but if you look closely some of the fabrics, um, so, sorry, some of the lipsticks have uh, leopard print, some have dots, it's just so detailed, it's really really funky, I really like this, it's really sweet, so yeah I'm really sad it's broken because I really wanted to show you um, this dress. Now this make you have actually already previously seen but I had a few um, people comment in the description box saying they wanted a closer look at it to see it so yeah so this is the Vogue um, Easy V8896. This is the pattern and this is the back of the pattern and this is the dress so I'm going to show you a better uh, close up of it. It was a really nice um, make to make, it's very easy, it's a good um, beginner pattern as well. Um, I've never made a wrap dress, so this is the first wrap dress I ever made, and now I'm addicted. I want to make 10,000 more. Um, so yeah, it can, you can make it um, into a maxi version with no sleeves, um, or you can make it in the mini version, which I did. Um, you can make it more uh, lower cut, so you can make it like, like this. I just chose to make the seam allowance here a little bit... Um, a little bit smaller because I just wanted it that kind of like 40s you know when it comes like this. It's a really really um, lovely dress to make so I just thought you would like to see it in a better close-up. Thank you so much for watching my fabric stash makes. I really hope you enjoyed um, watching it as much as I enjoyed making all the clothes in there apart from my broken lipstick dress which I will be sure to show you very very soon as soon as it's fixed and I have to go out and buy another zip. Oh my goodness. Please like and subscribe to my channel so happy and thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel. I cannot believe how many of you have subscribed. It's nuts. I look forward to showing you another video again very soon. Okay, thank you. Bye.